Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm taking a look at something new, I believe. It's called actually Something Nude and it's by Kevin Aquan. I have another palette from Kevin Aquan called Nude Pop. And these are very, very nice powders. It's a pretty neutral palette and we're going to have some fun with it because I think you can get a look that isn't neutral out of this. I got a new blush. I have never tried a Givenchy blush. I have tried a lot with Givenchy, to be perfectly honest with you. And this is called Spice. And in real life, we'll see what this looks like on camera. This is a coral, and this is a very soft pink, maybe with a hint of coral. So that's kind of uh, something new and exciting for me. And then we have a lip gloss from Kogan Do. It's actually just called lip gloss, and it is in nude beige. So it's new to me, and I, I think it might be semi-new to the market. And we're going to put that on the face. I'm doing a foundation test right now with something else, which will probably come out later, and that is the Dior Forever Natural Nude. More on that later. But let's get into this. We'll do some swatches and talk about the palette. So when I saw this, I really couldn't figure out what am I supposed to do with it, right? And then I thought, this is what's going on. This row are the light colors for all over the lid. Um, this one is a shimmer, so it could be inner highlight or brow bone. And these two could be all over the lid, depending on your skin tone. And this is the row that you're going to do liner with, or you'll deepen out the outer edge, or you'll put your crease on with. And these two are the colors. So you have a warm colorway and well, another warm colorway, really. These are warm browns to gold, and this is, well, let's do, let's do some swatching, shall we? So, we're going to swatch the warm brown row first. This is what they look like, so here's a gold. So, that's top to bottom, right? That's a neutral, warmy brown, mid-tone colors. And then we have, this one is a matte, whereas this is a shimmer. And these two are mattes. Here, this is a matte, and these two are shimmers. And that's those colors. Very, very, very pretty. And I was wrong, actually, you guys. There's In this brown column, there's two shimmers and one matte. But these aren't, you know, screaming shimmers. It's getting hot. This is a shimmer. I guess we're going to switch hands. And these two are mattes. On the finger. And on the hand. And in this final row, this one is a shimmer. On the fingers and on the hand. And now I have to clean. Uh, you guys, summer is here. It was 90 degrees the other day. Yesterday it was almost 90. Today it's supposed to be, but I'm not sure. So I had to turn on my fan. I hope it's not too disturbing to you. Um, that's, that's just the way it has to be. I don't have air conditioning. Yay. So this is my second time shooting this video, and I haven't had to do that in a long, long time. I used to do it quite often. But I, I love the look that I got, but I had accidentally gone in with this shimmer when I meant to go in with this one, and I couldn't even it up. Like, I tried to go with the shimmer on the other eye to even it up, and it, I just look, I look like Marty Feldman. You have to be my age to know who that is. Going in here. Coming in hot. I have a little bit of foundation, concealer on. I'm just going to blend that out and this color will set it perfectly. And I believe that the other color that is matte in that row will set perfectly for somebody with a darker skin tone. All right, so there we have that. Now, I am going to go in, I know most people would do this later, but I'm going to do it now with this color, which is kind of a lemony color. Actually reminds me a lot of the color in Natasha Denona's Tropic, that lemony color, which I thought was beautiful. And I'm just going to put it right in here. And the reason I'm doing it now instead of later is because of the look I got yesterday. I found that if you do it later, it's not going to give you what you want. And we can work on the fading it out and all that stuff in a few minutes. 
Wow, that fan feels like heaven. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it down though. It's amazing the difference between nine and eight. Now you can't hear it, but I can still feel it. So okay, yay. So I want to do these colors here. I mean. I, I feel like I've been doing a lot of neutral eyes, so I want to do something a little bit different. This appears to be darker than this one, so this is the one I'm going to go in with first. And this is the Ray Morris brush. And taking it where my crease would be, if I had a crease. And back and forth, kind of massaging the eyeball, and the color is revealing itself, and now I'm pressing harder because of the shape of this brush it can kind of blend itself out a little bit and down on the lid towards the center of the lid over that lemony delight that we put on earlier and pull out just a little bit Not much left on the brush. Voila! I feel like actually that could be enough if you just want your eyes to look kind of wide open and shaped with a punch of color, just a little bit of color. You don't look like you're going to a circus. This eye is harder. I can't really feel it because my tear duct gland goes all the way to here and I can't feel my eyeball and it protrudes right there, so it's harder for me to feel my way around what I'm doing on this eye. And pull it out just a little bit. I think that's about as even as I'm going to get. And ah, I think this is a lovely, kind of a fresh-y, summery look. To blend that out just the littlest bit with that first color I laid down, that um, off-white bone color, or not. I feel the eye looks lifted and lovely. Now we're going to go in with a little bit more. I'm taking the Chikahoto brush, and I did a video on the brushes recently, and we're going to go in with this color. And the video touches on brushes I have and phases I've gone through where I used a certain brush all the time and then I up my game and what worked for me and what surprisingly didn't work for me and the new brushes that I got recently in the couple, last couple of weeks and how I use them and what I know about them and how much I love them. I'm just deepening this with at the outer edge and normally I would want to go in with my Kitco brush and I am going to go in with that closer to the lash line. These powders are very easy to work with. There is no drop down. I'm using a very very light hand but I'm sure those darker colors they swatched crazy good. So there's no doubt that you can get depth out of these if you wanted to. <clears throat> in fact, you could go in with one of those dark browns right here. For me, I feel that it would close everything up because my eyes are on the smaller side and I'm hooded. But if you're not, yeah, you can deepen up this plum even more. And I think you can see I just went from kind of day to kind of iffy day by doing that. That's the hooded journey, my friends. I'm going to go in with this uh, middle shade. It's kind of a lilac-y to gray, and this is a matte, and I mean, I'm getting a little bit of, you know, stuff. <sighs> Don't do that at all. And I think I'm going to use it up here. I'm just kind of doing a final blend. All right, there we go. It's a little bit more dramatic 
I feel like this one needs a little correcting. I'll be right back. All right, so there, the eyes are almost done. I am, of course, going to do some mascara and I'm gonna do some brows a little bit later, but I wanted to get onto the blush. I have powdered my face because it's still a little wet. I'm afraid to go in with a powder blush. I used my By Terry, and while I was at it, I, I did the forehead too, construction. And here they are. You could use them together, or you could do just this, or just this. I'm going to do both, but I'm going to pick them up separately. So, first this bright color, and I'm excited to see how it'll work, because yesterday I didn't powder my face first. Although it worked pretty well. And this is a color that kind of scares me, but once you put it on, it's not super bright in your face. You don't look like you're going to the circus or you're in the circus. And I just want to do, you know, not past this area. I don't love to pull my blush all the way up here. I think it's a really lovely spring color that is surprising. These powders are also very soft and this is matte so you can put on shimmer where you want it to be as opposed to your blush where your blush is, do you know what I mean? I don't like shimmer in my blushes. That's one of my problems with Chanel blushes and Charlotte Tilbury blushes. I want to put it where I want to put it and in my case I usually don't really need it because my skin is so shiny anyway. So I'm kind of doing a figure eight. If you can see the same thing I can, it goes in and out, in and out. I'm gonna do a video on blush shapes, you guys, because there's a million of them. Now I'm going to go in with the pinky. And again, you would think, well, this is too light or you would think well, maybe it's a highlighter. It's not a highlighter and it's not actually too light. It will impart a little something. I'm just gonna do on the cheek, the apple of the cheek, and move into that corally shade. It's subtle, but it's there and subtle works. Subtle is not a bad thing. Um, okay, let's go in with lips. This is a very pretty lip. I, I wish I could say I had something like it because this is heavy. It's uncomfortable for me and I much prefer the Towers, the Visi Arts, which are like the Towers. This shade is Almond, I believe. And you can see the Almond is just a little bit warm to this one's pinkness. My bad, this is Cashew. So Almond is darker and more brown. And this just has a lovely pinky beigeness to it. So let's put it on the lips. I don't love lip gloss, I'm just saying. I find a lot of them to be uncomfortable. Okay, I have to go see what's wrong with Lucy. I'm sorry you guys, Lucy was throwing up. And <clears throat> Lucy is actually sick. Lucy has been sick for a couple of years and we've put her on different medications and I just have to watch her. Sometimes it's a matter of she just eats grass and throws up or sometimes it's an issue and I just needed to see if it was an issue. It just kills me because she also doesn't really take her medication very well. Sometimes she puts it in her cheek and like the next day I'll see it on the floor somewhere like this isn't good, Lucy. You have to have your medicine. Anyway, I had to leave to check that out. This color is lovely. I really like this color. I'm kind of torn now. Because it's not very comfortable. It's not as comfortable as the Visi Arts. Even Pat McGrath is more comfortable. But I don't have a color quite like this. And of course, you can put a little lip gloss on it if you wanted to to give your lips more shape. I find that I need all the shape I can get with my upper lip. But this look is just kind of surprising. It's not exactly what you would think it would be. And I really like it. So it's kind of like spring fall. You know what I mean? It's not entirely fall, but it's not entirely spring. It's definitely not winter and it's not summer. 
But uh, let me put on mascara, do my brows, come back, and I'll tell you what my thoughts are. All right, you guys, I'm back, and this is the final look. I do find a little brow and a little mascara makes a big difference. And this is a very, I feel like it's a very different look for me, and I like it. I like going, you know, outside my box a little bit. It wasn't necessarily intentional. It's just, well, look, a, a gloss outside my wheelhouse, a nudish gloss, really outside my wheelhouse, a blush color that I would never pick, but I think is lovely, and an eyeshadow palette that I think most people would look at and go, eh, or it's basic, but I don't think it's basic. I think you can get basic out of it, but I think you could do a lot more than what I did. Of course, I can see many different ways of doing this. I love the powders that Kevin Aquan does. I think they're very, very, very nice, and their shadows don't get enough love. Um, I haven't tried the little ones that used to come with the liquid shadow as well, but the larger ones are very, very nice quality. And I think if you want just a touch of color and don't want to go crazy, this is the way to do it. Even though I think this look at the end of the day is dramatic, I don't think it's out there. For mascara, I used my Chanel in the bronze, which I'm I use this all the time now because it's not black, so I still get a little bit of lash, I get a little bit of structure, and I get a little bit of emphasis without the harshness of black. I love that. It's limited edition. I w actually was thinking I'm going to return this after yesterday's video. I thought, you know what, it's not that comfortable, but you know what, it's not that bad, actually. And I don't have a color like this, so I think I may be keeping this. This blush... My first Givenchy powder blush, yes. Yeah, this is my first Givenchy cheek product, and I don't really do much in the Givenchy line, actually, when I think about it. But I really like these. They're quite soft. I think the color is beautiful. I think the packaging is luxe. And I am really, really glad that I decided to get this. And even now, it's kind of changing colors because the light is now changing a little bit. Really, really, really like. So all told, I think I, I think I did really well. I was wondering how this was going to come together when I got them at Neiman Marcus. But yay. That's it, you guys. Let me know what you think. And let me know, do you want me to do another look with the Kevin Kwan? Is that something that interests you but you're not quite sure yet? And... I'm happy to have like a new spring cheek. This is going to be my spring cheek for a while, I think. And that is it. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. I hope it was helpful to you, and I hope you come back again. Until we meet again, be safe and smart, and I'm wishing you good health.